Hi everyone, the excitement has really picked up now and I'm eager for the action to start. So it's away we go then. Barcelona came away from the first leg with a decent draw. And so this becomes the conclusive occasion, however long it takes. Well positioned to make that interception. Done very well to intervene. Tony de Vilhena. Sergio Busquets tries a through ball. Neymar looks to slip it through. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Count. With the ball through. Tony to Vilhena looking to get on the end of this. Put forward. What does he try from here? Now the pass. Now it's Luis Suarez. Rakitic. Ilya. Boots it upfield. Terence Congolo. PK. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. Looks like a good ball through. Terence Congolo delivers the ball. And oh, he's got that completely wrong. I think he deserves credit for, for getting something away, given that he had to contend with a, a double dose of closing down. Directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. And it's Luis Suarez. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Neymar. And he's there to make a great save. Oh, much more than a than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with, with room to spare. It's a long forward pass. Passes it through. Kaut. Tony de Vilhena. Kaut. And it's Tony de Vilhena. Here's the whistle for half time. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. And the second half gets on the way. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Jordi Alba plays it out to the wing. Looks like a good ball through. Looks to slip it through. Now it's Luis Suarez. He'll have a dip! That's what top players do. They can seize the initiative almost single-handedly, and that goal eases them in front once more to make this second half look a little more promising. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Barcelona take the lead both in this match and on aggregate. Count. Iniesta. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Tony de Vilhena, Kaut. Ball is over the line. 
Feyenoord look as though they're about to make a change. It's gone out for a throw-in. Played it early, they didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. It seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. And the defence can get it clear. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Sergio Busquets with the ball through. Sergio Busquets needed to come up with a better ball. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Boots it to safety. Out wide to the right. Out. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Tony de Vilhena with the foul. Tony de Vilhena. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Played out to the wing. It's gone for a throw in. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Barcelona need to hold on for a few more moments. So that's it. It is all over. They've done what they needed to do. First leg parity became second leg advantage and they are through. Well, this game looked to have nearly...